WPSC, Wayne, New Jersey. On the radio, 88.7 FM. Online, gobrave.org. A tune-in radio station. Part of the William Patterson Broadcast Network. Brave New Radio. My name is Bridget Charlton, and welcome back to the Spin Cycle. We had a little bit of a, you know, a slower transition in here, but that is perfectly okay because now Reality Suite is in the studio, and we are ready to kick off this interview. Guys, how are we feeling? Hello. Awesome. Super Sweaty. awesome. Thanks for having us. Huzzah. I mean, um, it was a great set. Um, a lot of great feedback coming in from our listeners. You did a wonderful job. Oh, we love that. Awesome. Thank Thanks you. So so one of the questions that we have coming in from actually several folks is, uh, how did you all pick your name, which tacks into the origin story? How did we mm. create this interesting collection of humans that play that music together? Sweet. Well, I mean, I came after the name was created, so you guys could take it away. <laughs> hmm. uh, we read it on the back of a the fortune cookie, those little... You know, people, you know. Let me introduce you our uh, substitute bass player. <laughs> how, about, how about we go around and do names real quick so that we know who's idea. goofing and who's not? <laughs> okay, so I'll start with me because I'm on this side. My name is Antonio. I'm the bass player, and I shouldn't be in the band. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Um, my name's Kimmy Hart. I'm the the lead singer, and yeah, I'm in the band. My name is Brian. I'm uh, the drummer, and I'm I'm in the band. Uh, this is Joe Padula and guitars, and I'm in the band. So what just happened remind me very much of a different interview I did in which everybody was like, they were friends with the band who had been on the previous week. And so they all were like, hi, I'm Spencer Danielle from Electric Sensei. I too am Spencer Danielle. And then when they were done, I'm like, all right, real names. Let's go. Like, <laughs> That's awesome. No, we, we like to have fun in here, though. So now that we know who everyone is and don't trust Antonio. Um <laughs> Never trust a man who's wearing a spa lady shirt from 1923. <laughs> With a gold medal. He's yeah. legit wearing he a gold medal which, right now. Which one is that? That's, is oh, the... that's one of the alumni takeover medals. Oh, that, so that works. He literally saw that medal in our studio and he's like, oh, shiny, can I wear it? And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> actually, you don't know the true story. He actually busted that window outside that said, do not open this glass case of collectible medals. And <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Up, I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> Oh my so gosh, the, the energy. So, yes, please, let's bring it back. <laughs> l- long story longer. So for like 20 minutes, we were called the Industry Standard, which was Anthony's pick, which was a cool name, and it's still a cool name, just not our name. Just not our name. <laughs> no, it was, I just felt like it was something, we could We could do better. I just felt like we were better than the name. And um, I was driving around in the car listening to, ironically, Howard Stern, and they were talking about reality shows, so the name Reality came into my head, so I wrote it down on a napkin, mm-hmm. and uh, I drove around- napkin. A yeah. napkin. Yes. Napkin, napkin. It, it, it was a it was a clean napkin, <laughs> and I drove around the car with a napkin for weeks with the name Reality written on it, and uh, and then after several weeks of trying different things, Joe and I were on the phone, and we're just throwing different things out there, and then Joe. We were on the phone one day, and, and uh, I was not in... allowed to move other people's <laughs> microphones. <laughs> I'm just yeah, to don't move my I'm mic, man. Come on, what's wrong with you? <laughs> So Brian and I were on the phone one day. I was at work, and uh, I worked at a Suite 201, and we were bouncing names together and putting words together, and it just went from, you know, him driving around with this tissue or napkin with reality on it, <laughs> dirty tissue, and uh, we just kind of put reality and suite together, S-U-I-T-E. Yeah. And, Do you still have that napkin? Yeah. I should, I should. I, Knowing. Me, I would. But yeah. I one day, yeah. that napkin will cost a lot of money. Yes, I flattened it out, and I... I I sprayed starch on it, so now it's hard and Clean stiff. Up. Yeah, that's. And awful. then he thought about laminating. <laughs> We're gonna move on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a sensory moment. I'm like, let, let, nope, do not like that. Do not like that at all. Um, so then you guys have been mentioning you shouldn't be here. You came in after the the name was decided. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm terrible. You guys are infecting me with your energy. This yeah, is... <laughs> it's our specialty. Yay. As long as it, that's what we're infecting you with. Yeah. <laughs> Corona. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm almost glad no one can see my face, except for the fact that you are recording this. <laughs> so <laughs> there's <see>. that. <laughs> we just need to sign a release. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honestly, it's like... We actually did have a problem with that once, yeah. where um, mm-hmm. that's why we make it very clear when, when bands... Um, we're like, yes, you have this as a promotional material, but you must treat it professionally and everything else because we have had issues with people 
taking material and making very inappropriate content with it. Um, we had to have somebody take down an entire like 20 minute YouTube video of a live event because he it was just a, a bastardization of our station. Yeah, that's unnecessary. Oh, that's I don't know why people do that. It was another bass player. Ah. Um, oh my <laughs> those go. darn bass players. A, bass 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 a <laughs> substitute bass player. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get paid as much. <laughs> that's why. Oh, so, they, they get paid? <laughs> <laughs> So coming back one more time. So how did we? How did this collection of people come together? Well, we were just all like, you know, sitting in a park one day, and then, and then we we're just walking around in a park, and then all of a sudden we just bumped into each other. And we're like, hey, like you sing? Yeah, <laughs> you, you you play music? Yeah. Kimmy was playing with Great. blocks. <laughs> yeah, a, a B C Coloring. blocks. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, you, you guys can start. Oh, we talk. <laughs> I came later. Stop. <laughs> Um, oh, jeez. Um, all right, Tony so, and I grew up okay, go ahead. together. Uh, fourth grade. I was earlier. about to say, if you stop that sentence, I grew up. I don't know if that would stand. <laughs> well, Antonio stopped growing up. We've known each other for some time. I grew up and time. I met Antonio when he was a child. And uh, when he was a childer, child, childest, he was more of a child. What am I talking I about? Anyway, we grew up together, yes. second, third, fourth grade. We met Joe in high school. Um, we have been in various bands separately, individually, and just, you know, several years ago we decided, you know, hey, why don't we all meet up? Does this make any sense? I'm babbling. But, um, no, it makes yeah, so sense. we, we kind of had a lot of time in separate bands and then we just, we just got together and, and it was really casual at first. We just, were just looking to do something fun and. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. yeah and we, then, we wanted to bring the rock back. So we just, mm -hmm. you know, started jamming some. You know, just just casually, like Brian said, and uh, just kind of started developing some music that we really liked, and mm -hmm. decided to move it forward. So I'm gonna have a slight serious moment and mention something that these guys probably haven't heard from me at all, mm -hmm. and that is um, at the, at the very beginning uh, when Brian and Joe wanted to formulate something together. Brian approached me to play bass. Uh, because the uh, a friend of ours couldn't make it or something like that. Now, the truth is, I was in another band prior to that, and I quit and actually laid down my bass for a little while. So for like three years, I wouldn't even touch my bass. If it weren't for Brian to approach me, I never would touch my bass. I'd just leave it. I wouldn't care. But he brought me back into the music. And if it weren't for him, nobody else could do it. Tissues, please. <laughs> not the one with reality on it, though. Not that one. Not but this is the first time I've ever admitted that. Aww. That'll be the. Uh, the and headline. now it's documented for all of time. Aww. <laughs> Cute story. And then we saw Kim when we met Kimmy. And on, then I uh, came out of the list. blue. Where'd I come from? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. So I, I was here, not I was backstage. like, I was like 19. Right. And I'm like, I really wanted to join a band. But for some reason, it was really, really hard to find people who played music or any sort of like music community. I don't know. I couldn't, there was no magazine. I didn't know where to go. So I ended up going on, on Craigslist and um, looking for auditions for bands. And I came across their ad and I showed up with a friend and I guess the rest is history because <laughs> they didn't try anyone else out after me. I don't think. <laughs> 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 She's adopted. No, I'm joking. Um, so then, obviously, you guys have all come in at different, you know, for different reasons at different times. So I'm guessing there's a lot of different musical influences that are happening. So how did you, what are some of the, the bands and musicians that have kind of helped you uh, develop the sound that you have now today? Who um, wants to start? Well, I'll start. <laughs> well, I love Lizzie Hale, Hailstorm. Yes. She's a huge, huge inspiration. She's wonderful. Um, I, it's one of my dreams to open up for her, get on a tour with her. Um, also, the pretty reckless Taylor Momsen. Mm -hmm. She's definitely, definitely one of my favorites, too. Um, in this moment, wow, in this mm -hmm. moment, I find them incredible. And they really put on a performance, a show. If you've never seen they them, do. you should. Oh, my God. Um, we get compared a lot to these bands. Um, That's then, not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it, really. Yeah, it's it's like literally the biggest compliment in the world mm -hmm. to be compared to my idol. Yeah, any of these powerful, you know, 
female lead singer yeah, exactly. groups. They're just, and they bring such an energy. I've seen Hailstorm in concert, mm-hmm. and obviously, like, I, I love Pretty Reckless, and they just bring such an energy and a passion to their music and to their performances. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, the only two ladies in the room, I digress. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess uh, my stuff is a little bit more old school, like, you know, um, like Kiss, Rush, mm. Metallica. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm still big on pop music too. You know, I, I, I range from Metallica to Taylor Swift. So, you know, yeah, I said it. Um, <laughs> it's so on live as radio. much as I love, you know, the edge, not the edge, specifically the edge, but music with an edge. Um, I also love the struts or the Beatles, you know, um, when we write, you know, we always try to make sure we have a hook, something that people can cling to. So, um. Yeah, that's that's where I'm coming from. You know, a lot of some pop stuff, a lot of rock. You know, old school rock, extreme. You know, um, <laughs> absolutely. You know, you're stealing my thunder. There yeah, that's go. pretty much where I'm at. You know, like extreme uh, Van Halen. Mm-hmm. You know, back in the day. You know, just uh, all the guitar heroes. You know, Joe Satriani, uh, Vito Brada, um, all those. You know, guys that uh, that's who I grew up with. You know, Zeppelin, uh, Rat, of course. Yeah, guitar <laughs> hero. Um. For me, I would say I, a lot of it, what Brian said, is pretty much what I like as well. I'm going to go with Deep Purple, mm. Black Sabbath, Metallica Slayer, and then I switch to the whole other spectrum. I'm a big fan of Dua Lipa. Okay. I, I love her. I think she's fantastic. She's actually a really good artist. You know? Uh, so certain pop that I can dig. Um, I'm a big fan of Tara Kemp. I'm sure you probably never heard of her. That's okay. Can't admit that I have. <laughs> I uh, thought we were um, Jody who we were being compared to. Oh no, Our these are influences. <laughs> oh, influences. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but as far as bass playing goes, I would say, you know, Getty Lee, uh, Geezer Butler, Billy Sheehan. You know, these are guys, and of course Paul McCartney. Mm. You know, with these guys are definitely what I look up to. It's what I've been, you know, trying to play like in a way. Absolutely. Well, in the meantime, we're going to take that information, we're going to digest it, and we're going to swing over to a little bit of music cool. for the time being, because we've been yes. talking a while, and that's a good thing. If you have any more questions that you want to ask Reality Suite, please, please, please call or text us 973-720-2738, or tweet us at Brave New Radio, or slide into the Spin Cycle's DMs at Bridget's Spin Cycle. We're going to head over, okay, y'all couldn't pick a song, so I did it for you. Uh, we're going <laughs> to... Yeah, we said, I was like, oh, what song do you want to hear? And they're like, oh, My Chemical Romance is good. And then nobody could remember, like, full titles or, (laughs) you know. We're big fans. Expos. (laughs) So we're going to head over to House of Wolves real quick. Ooh. By My Chemical Romance. Definitely stick around. You are listening to the nation's number one college and non-commercial radio station, Brave New Radio. My name is Bridget Charlton. You're listening to The Spin Cycle. And with me is Reality Suite. We'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> what did you do? I did nothing. I was, I was laughing. I'm so sorry. So we're back. If you if you were really confused for the last 45 seconds, you're listening to the Spin Cycle. But on um, what other show would this nonsense be happening? Uh, and uh, uh, Reality Suite is in with me. Um, so we talked about your sound. We talked about you know the different influences that you guys have. We briefly mentioned that people often compare you to Hailstorm and Pretty Reckless. What a beautiful compliment. Um, so now we want to get into more of the live aspect um, of what you guys experience and deal with. Do you have any fun stories from performances? I ask this very tentatively. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, a little well, bit. I feel like we're, wherever we go, we end up having a great time. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, we do have a lot of funny moments on stage, <laughs> funny mishaps, you know. It happens often too. Yeah, <laughs> it, it usually happens. There's like this this one part of the song, is it "Bury Me Alive." Yep. It always happens in this one spot, like the breakdown or something. Like where like I go and like I try and like flip my hair, like do like a hair flip, and then Joe's like going down to like start his solo, and then like way too many times where I've like smashed my head into his guitar, <laughs> <laughs> and it just <laughs> totally like. Pain. And it hurt. It hurt. And then I have to pretend like it didn't hurt. Oh. <laughs> Coming up saying, I'm okay. 
She'll push me out of the <laughs> way. Singing. Knocks like, my guitar out of tune. It's, it's yeah, not, I get it's like a great. concussion, yeah. okay, from that song. <laughs> In the infinite words of my sister, nothing broke. <laughs> That's awesome. And then if people want to, you know, download your music, listen to you guys, how can they interact with you on social media and whatnot? We're on everything. Everything, like, whatever you listen to, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music. And by request, we will uh, H- provide it on 8-track, Real to Real, and... And other, vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cassette. Are we, we on LimeWire? Do. Does that still exist? No. <laughs> no. I okay, hope not. good. No. Share? <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Okay, no, that's not good. But, you know, oh we're God. on everything. So if you... You could find us. I'm we're sure. in the deep web, too. <laughs> Reddit? The dark web. Is that deep web? No. I not. love how she thought Reddit was the deep web oh or dark gosh. web, whichever it is. I feel like it depends where you go on Reddit. That's a very avoidable place. Yeah. It's a very, I don't want to jump down that rabbit hole place. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to get the, what is this? <laughs> She's still trying to spell it. Hey. I'm dead. <laughs> um, okay. So, and then, uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> your turn, your show, you talk. <laughs> um, so then right now, are you working on any new music? And, and what's that writing process looking like? Yes, actually, right now we are getting back into the writing, the workings of writing a new song, single, slash eventual album. Um, but yeah, we're we're in that process now. We're just starting it. So we have some some little things in the woodworks. But we, we we're still working on. Yeah, that. we have a unique yeah. way of uh, producing songs. You see, what we do is we um, we're a part of Heaven's Gate, and what? Uh, you can cut his mic. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Realistically, we all have a studio <laughs> at our own house, so we, you know, we kind of collaborate in that mm-hmm. way. We will, uh, uh, you know, write parts to music and upload it to a share, and you know, we just kind of mm-hmm. it kind of starts to morph into something from there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's so My funny? really cut off. He's laughing because he didn't realize that that's how we do it. <laughs> this is how we do it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, we Joe is actually right. We do have our own little studios. And, you know, with the technology of today, uh, uh, we're able to send and share our sessions to each other. And then we uh, we kind of just, you know, throw our ideas together and, you know, we throw it in spin cycle and it just produces a song when we're done. It's just crazy because if you see like the demo, if you compare the demo to the final product of the song, it's just like it goes through this woodwork. Yeah. I don't know. It just trans. It just goes through this transformation. Because, the glow up of the song. Yeah, because so then like all, you get all of our influences together, and mm-hmm. it just like transforms. It's really cool, and that's good. I mean, a lot of bands have presented very different. For some groups, like, one or two people do all the writing. Um, but I think it's really cool when everybody, like, works on their own part, brings it together. Because then I feel like you have a much more homogenized um, feel of everybody's individual sound and style. Um, but it comes together for the the one cohesive unit. But in any case, that's just my side note. Um we are coming to the bottom of the hour, uh, and then we're going to be throwing it over to the sports guys. They are broadcasting uh, WP Baseball today. Awesome. Very, very exciting. Support your pioneers. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that you guys want to add that you really want people to know um, before we start signing off for today? Yeah, we're reality suite. That's. The, I think they know that one. <laughs> yeah. We're in a band. <laughs> we're no. just uh, check the website for for yes. up and coming dates. Yes. Uh, March seventh again at Esbury Lanes, and then after that we're doing something in Brick, and then uh, in a few months we're playing the Chance. So uh, yeah, just keep up with us. What is the website? Oh, realitysweet the dot com. There you go. Yes, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Very fun. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh my god some of the footage that we're shooting actually uh, Bridget hasn't mentioned but we're shooting all this stuff today so you're going to mm-hmm. see drips and drabs of it on our YouTube channel so look out for that I'm honestly really excited about that nobody's like filmed a full spin cycle I think part of it is I would like some of those things to not be <laughs> presented to the world but I think it'll be a really fun video um, so definitely you guys should or you excuse we me would've, we would have uh, warned you you would have worn your lashes and <laughs> I don't, I don't do false lashes. Those things are scary. It's like you're tacking on a spider onto your face, and it's. I'm not scared of spiders, but I am scared of losing my real lashes to them. It's I'll, so funny. Like it's a really because I'll I'll put them on sometimes, and then like the other day we had a photo shoot actually the other day in Asbury Park, um, and I was wearing the lashes, and it was so windy, and it was like they kept like flapping up. I'm like they're just gonna like fly, gonna fly away. off. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. my.
my word. I, I like it when they put lashes on cars, on the headlights. That looks go. pretty cool. I, it's oh, so God. funny. And a beetle. <laughs> my mom had a Fiat um, 500L, and it has, like, the little lashes, like, drawn onto the headlights themselves. So she oh, wow. named her Lola. It was the cutest thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, Lola. Um, but in any case, thank you guys so much for coming on the program today. It's been such a pleasure working with you, mostly. Um, <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us. And definitely make sure to tune in next week. The spin cycle will be a little bit later. Broadcasting from 3 to 5 p.m. with Granite Lake. I'm very excited. Uh, they are most of the old parts of Sweaty Boy. So if you are a longtime listener of the spin cycle, then you are definitely aware of who I am talking about. Uh, in the meantime, though, this has been Reality Sweet. You might be catching them on Braveathon in April. We're Woo! waiting to hear that confirmation. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. You've been listening to the spin cycle here on Brave New Radio. Nice. Nice. Yay! Yay. We oh. did it! We forgot Ooh. to say goodbye. It's okay. No, no, no. We forgot to say goodbye. <laughs> she said goodbye to you 40 minutes ago when she popped Goodbye to you! Goodbye to you! Your, uh, goodbye to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Like, I've done this before. It is? Okay. Oh, did you on my it? own wall. Right? Uh, oh, alright. Really sweet, right? Oh, yeah. The rest of the Real big. And not obnoxiously well, big. <laughs> Try to do it in the exact like font. The, uh, the compilation of being blown off of uh, well, yeah, a. Like, that sounds rough. Explosions. Did they like, fill it up with airspray and shit? I don't know. Perhaps. Uh, Probably filled with like heavy gas. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. The one with the, um, he's contemplating how he's going to defile the wall. Because I, They're yeah. just trying to make sure nothing bad happens. And then my idiot's in the background. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. While he's down there, let's all kick him. Your turn now. I need to get on my knees. Look how cool your signature is. It is? It's because I couldn't see it. I was too close. There you go. Well, all right. Waha. Uh -huh. And then like one more. The There's a gap above Antonio. Go above Antonio. That makes more sense. There you go. It helped for me because I'm left-handed. Ah. Uh -huh. I can go back against the wall and right. Oh, I think he has the best signature. Yeah, he's got a full signature. Yeah, he's good yeah. at everything.